people, like a lot of people who've been through a lot, but like if you really are a positive like impact in somebody's life, you could change it. Like it's like I don't know, I just have a way about being with people that just like it's just I don't know. It's like magic, but not really. So, Esso. You believe that women cap, like regardless of the female that like as soon as, soon as they wake up, they capping. Soon as soon as they wake up, they capping. <sighs> That's not true. Mm -hmm. I feel like me as a female, we lie to protect men's feelings. Because sometimes you guys are tough, but you guys aren't really tough. Like, if you really hear the truth, it's going to make you feel some type of way. And that's just the fact of the matter. But that's most people. Most people don't like to deal with the truth. Right? But I can't really disagree with you about men not being able to deal with the truth, but you have to know what you're dealing with. Because even with me as being a man, I meet women, or I used to meet women, rather, mm -hmm. that couldn't deal with the truth, but yeah. they said that they wanted the truth. So I tested it, I tried it, right? And most of them, they don't like to deal with the truth. So when I talk to women, I, I say, yo, men are weak when it comes to us thinking that y'all are saints and y'all are beautiful and y'all don't do nothing wrong. But in order for you to go further, see, this isn't about making a man or a woman feel good about who they are. The relationship is about how are we going to continue this relationship and become partners with each other. So in order for you to even think or know or like me like that, you need to be able to tell me the truth. If you can't tell me the truth, whether I like it or not, now, I'm not going to say that I'm going to agree with it because yeah. I'm not. And I know that me being who I am, I'm not motivated by the same things that men are motivated with. But I speak to a lot of my dudes and I know how they feel about the women that they're with. And if I talk to them, I honestly would tell them, like, yo, she can't tell you the truth because you can't take it. Right. But down the line, where's that going to lead you? I mean, I feel like. I, okay, I agree with you, but I feel like certain things you have to lie about. Like what? Uh, Body count? I mean, <laughs> I mean, yes, you can lie about that, but it's just like, it depends on your man. Do you lie about your body count? I, have you lied? I don't need to. Lied? I don't no, need to. I didn't say if you need to. No, no, I to haven't. To a man, you've never lied about no, your body count for I no haven't. reason at I all. Haven't. Well, you're red because most women that I know, we just spoke on camera, a woman, I'm not going to name her, her her name, but she said if a woman says she slept with five dudes, that means she slept with 20 dudes, and that was a woman. So you telling me that you don't need to lie about your body count at all? No. I. No. Come on, Mel. Come on. Is it uh, is it Melanin Dojo? Is it which Lauren? Which one is it? Because you're not telling me the truth right oh now. Oh my God! Every woman has lied about their body count to somebody that they care no, about. No, not every because... woman. You can't put us in just one category. So not what category all... are you in? I'm I'm a rare breed. Uh, what rare category? Breed. Everybody tells us that. What category are you in that you telling I'm me a, a, you don't got to lie about your body count? If you ain't got to lie, look at the camera. Tell me your body count right now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I'm disclosing that. Okay, listen. He... See, you just said you don't got to lie. I'm not, dis I'm not lying. I'm saying I'm not disclosing it. I could plead the fifth. Okay. I could say it off camera, but on camera, uh -huh. You never lied about your body count. No. Ever. Not one, not no. one time. No, I never had a need to. Most of the time... Like, my past, well, I had a couple exes that didn't ever ask me that. Okay. I feel like when you're with someone and you question their respect for themselves, you have to ask that. Because, like, okay, like, you're really attractive. How many people have you been with? Or you seem like a hoe. Like, you have to tell me, like, that us. Like, let me know. But if you know your girl and you know that she's not on some type of bullshit and she hasn't been passing nobody, around. Nobody knows their girl. Nobody knows if they've been passed. You have around. a guess. You have a gist of the type of person they are. You may not know them like. A lot of people have a gist of what they are, and they be wrong. Okay, but they be dead ass wrong. Women lie with. If you watch this show, I say women wake up capping. They wake up and they have the ability to cap and look at your face. But so men I, do so too. I, so I would be a fool to sit here on this camera and act like I don't think that women wake up capping. I do. Men cap too. Men cap too. I hear what he's saying, but... What are they capping to... about? What are they capping about? Who? Men or women? Men. What are men capping about? Tell me. Baby, they not capping about their body count. For me. You're the only one I'm talking to. There's nobody else. She's just a friend. You want you to believe that? For real? 
Okay. You know I'm telling the truth. That's yeah. why you're quiet. That's no, why you're quiet. That's but that's not that's regular shit for okay, trying to get still, with you. I'm talking about capping. I thought I thought we was talking about if I'm with you and I'm in a yes, relationship, that's what I'm, I'm are you capping? That's capping to try to get to no. try to to try to smash. No, that's that's, that's trying to smash capping. In a relationship, people it cap is about not, that. Yes. That is not in relationship yes, capping. People do cap about that. Okay. Example. Dealing with a guy. All right, you know, that's just my homegirl. We're cool with this and a third. Let's say you're We girl. cap about sex, okay? We do cap about sex. If, that, if, if that's what she's going to say, we cap about but cheating. She got it. But that goes back to defending my point. You're still lying. I'm talking okay. about if I like you. Okay, okay, okay. Let me be, you know, let me be clear. If we're together, yes. right? Yes. You're going to cap to me about your body count because you're going to worry about if I'm going to rock with you like that or not. That's the type of cap and that I'm that I, I'm I'm personally talking about. Not if I first meet you and I'm trying to get with you. We're together now. Okay, right? if you're together, there's no reason to lie about that. But because you, regardless, you're gonna accept that's me. That's not you're reality. You're gonna accept me if you really fuck with me. You really love me. You're gonna accept me if I done had done threesomes in the past. Nah, you wildin'. No, there's like right that. I never personally never had a threesome, but I know, like, yo, she's did a threesome before, but that's my baby. Well, you know. Is that? I don't know none of those. Part of my French, I'm not supposed to say that word. Where you look, cut? Where you know them dudes at? I ain't seen no dude that said you got a train ran on you. It's listen, okay, baby. Listen, I don't know him. Listen, it's the same. Be wife and girls are known for being hoes. Some of the girls that are strippers. Some they the lying, girls, no. They lying, saying I ain't got no train I've, ran I've on me. They in, lying, saying I've I'm not a hoe. So I've you know it. women that, that admit they a downright hoe, and they told the dude, and he said, it's okay. You got trains ran on you. You had threesomes. I'm going to accept but, you. You know those people. Yes. I, I don't know because, none. Yo, the way it is, nowadays, I don't know what's up with this generation. It's like, well, I've done my dirt. And you did your dirt. As long as we both know what's going on with each other, okay, move past that. Or we could do it together. As long as we both come clean about that and, like, possibly some people are like, yeah, well, we could do it together in the future. Yes, yes. Come clean? Yes. Come clean like about... Easy. I feel like it's easy. As, I'd rather... As come... long as we come clean about what that you had... I'm not saying you. I, okay, how would but you if you was a person, if you was a woman, that you had a train... As long as you came clean and told me you had trains ran yes, on you, yes. it's all good. Yes. Where they at? You know them? Well, Where they, they at? I don't, I, don't, I don't know none of them dudes. That's what I'm saying. Because there's a lot of women that say things to me, and I'll be like, I don't know those type of guys. I don't know those dudes that say, it's okay for you to have a train ran on you. Now, we have women that have had trains ran on you, but they not yeah. wifing them. Yo, you can be my side chick. We can party, and we can have fun, but we not going to be together. And I think that that's why women be capping, because if I have a menage, mm -hmm. I'm that guy. You're not mad at me. You like, I got a dude that other women want and they vibing with him. I might not like what he did, but that's not a deal breaker for me. With men, that's a deal breaker. Listen, I'm about to, I, okay. I'm gonna let you finish for have something. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, so what you're saying now in this like generation mm -hmm. and just overall, a lot of people are sex positive. They don't hide their sexuality. Okay. Like. Even freaking, uh, what, uh, what's her name? I'm not trying to butcher her name. Uh, Ju Julia Fox, is, this, is that her name? Mm -hmm. Kaya's um, old chick. She she talks about her her sexual life outright. She's talk, talking about what she's done. Even Ari and Moneybag, they talk about, you know, getting with females together. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable with your spouse, partner, whoever, you could do that if you have that getting trust in Getting females together is not the same as you running, you getting a train ran on you. As a man, and, okay, a threesome yo, doesn't have to be get, a train. We can get free. Well, okay, then you're specifying a threesome. Then yeah. we go into Menard situation yes. because a train is two men. No, no, I'm not talking about a train. Woman. I'm talking about a so threesome. So we're talking about okay, threesomes. Yes. All right, that's cool for a dude, right? You are gonna go out, you are gonna grab the chick, you are gonna mm -hmm. do whatever. That's okay, but you still don't think in the long term. You name two women, mm -hmm. two. Out of the grand scheme of things that what's going on, that their guy or the man that they're with can deal with their sexuality. Yeah. You think that that's normal? I mean, now it is. You, 
it's normal for them to do it, but is it normal for the dudes to keep the woman if they're doing it? You think that's normal? You mean doing it still or like? Yeah, like like like. All right, oh, if I, I mean, if I if I meet you, if oh, I meet that you, that depends on the relationships because some people are poly. You have to understand that we're progressive now. No, no, po yeah. no, poly is in. I get it. I'm, yo. I got no problem with it. Trust me. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got no problem with the poly, but I'm just talking about from the man's side of you. Like, you're not thinking about this, right? But for the man's side of you, I'm just trying to have you see the total picture because when I'm, when I used to do what I used to do, I thought about what the woman felt, yeah. right? What I see right now is women are really thinking about how, how the man feels. They're like, yo, you just need to deal with it. If this is what I like, if I like chicks and I'm getting chicks with you, what's the problem? And and I know for a fact, my partners right here, I know for a fact that a girl that I know that was married and was bringing women home to her husband and he could not deal with it. He divorced her and she was bringing home women that had Ferraris, had their own businesses, uh, and he couldn't deal with it. And he divorced would her. Would he rather her bring bro broke bitches to the crib? He didn't want her bringing. He wasn't comfortable. It wasn't about money. Oh, just a, just a gentleman. Just he a just couldn't deal with the fact that his wife was bringing females home. Me, I said, "Yo, you living the king life. I don't see what the problem is." He he, nigga was living the king life. If my wife, which I know she's never gonna do, but if she brought women home and they was fine, what's the problem? I'm cool with that. But not everybody's like you. I'm, so it just, it's just, I, I feel like it's a case by case scenario. You can't just apply, okay, well, this is how it should rule over for everybody. Everybody should be monogamous. Not everybody wants to be monogamous. Some and people want to be poly, some people want to Some do people whatever. sacrifice. Yeah. I sacrifice my shit. I said, yo, I'd rather be with her than to deal with all this uh, other shit that we're dealing with. So I sacrifice and say, yo, this is the route that I'm going. But I know that most men, although that they say that they like it, they can't deal with it. And on the flip side, I understand why women lie. That's why I'm, 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 I'm saying to you, you being straightforward with the dudes, right? Mm -hmm. Are they receptive to that? I'm do you have a boy? B before you say that, do you got a boyfriend now? It's complicated. Okay. <laughs> with your complicated relationship, with your, what they call it, with, what Jada call it, it's a situationship or whatever she call it. With that situationship or whatever, you think he would be cool with you bringing women to him? Or you liking women? Or you telling him, like, yo, I'm cool with, I'm letting you rock off or whatever. Is he cool with that? I feel like he probably be cool with a female, but a guy, no, no way. No would way. you want him to be cool with a guy? No, no. So what would be his problem? So if it's a female and he cool with it, I feel like it's would, would you be cool with that if he liked the female? If he said, yo, I'm, yo, I'm, yo bring her home and I want to be with both no, of y'all. No. Why? Why? No. If you with the shit, that, that... I'm saying, okay, I'm saying he would like the idea of me bringing a female home, but mm -hmm. I would never do that. Why not? You don't like females? I'm, I'm not interested in females. I, I like... Oh, you don't like I, girls, so that's off your I, spectrum. I think, girl, I think girls are pretty, yes, mm -hmm. but I, I don't personally date girls. I don't, like... I could say a girl's attractive. I, I'm just I'm just focused on just guys, just, like, dating guys. Girls, I feel like it's too many emotions and all this, and, like... I have a lot of guy friends, so it's just like I just never been interested in. Would you be opposed so, to your man wanting another woman? I'm. I don't share. You're not part of the different world. Yeah, like me personally, I feel like with me being in a relationship, like I'm just going to involve myself with you. I'm not sharing my body with another person. I'm not doing none of that. Like I'm enough. I'm just. I'm enough. You don't need anybody else. How are you gonna gauge if you enough? And, and, and ain't the dude supposed to say that you enough? No. Well, ain't ain't who, you supposed who? to say that the dude is is is, is enough? Let me no? cut you off. Who am I to tell me that a man can validate my worth? To me, I gotta validate your worth to myself. Correct. But you gotta be worthy to me. Am I wrong? Yes, but I don't look for a man to validate me. Like, I do that myself. I'm not trying to validate you. No, I'm you. saying, I'm but you're saying to... if I should look for him to say yes. Yeah, okay? No, 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 no. Like, I, like, I, like, you, I check You myself. can say that all by yourself. Yeah. Right? So what do I, so if I'm, if I'm your man, if I'm with you, what part do I play in this, though? I don't got no rights to say nothing? No, of course. It's all I about mean, you? No, it's not all about me, but I feel like, you know, like, it's just. I just know myself and just, like, I don't know. I'm very, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm weird, but, like. <laughs> you're not going to say you're weird, but, like, what? Like, 
me in a relationship, like, I just want to be the two of us. If I wanted to be, like, openly talking to other people, I'm like, all right, like, we're single, we're talking. Or, mm-hmm. like, whatever the case may be. But I'm not going to be in a relationship and have other people in the mix. Like, you never cheated on nobody before? Not one time? You a saint? I'm not you a saint. You never cheated not one time? I'm you cheated before. You cheated before. Yeah, and it was one of my worst, like... <laughs> I know. I know you. All pretty women have cheated before at least one time. Yeah, and I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. Like, to this day, like, I regret it, but... Was it lit when you did it? It wasn't even about being lit. It was, like, I really had, like, strong feelings for that person. Like, I, personally, I don't condone cheating, but it got to... I was in a long-distance relationship, and he was living literally five hours away from me. And I'm like, you know, we're together. Why would you move away? And, like, so far... And then I had someone around me who was my friend. Mm-hmm. We had a solid friendship, like a solid, solid friendship. And then over time, like you keep on spending time with someone and getting to know them, it was just like it just built up to be. You being, slipped and fell on it, you know what I mean? You slipped and fell on it. I was avoiding him at all costs. I like once I realized that I was having like strong emotional feelings mm-hmm. for him, I was like, yo, this is the friend, huh? This yes, is the friend. yes. I'm like, I, I was like, okay, like we're we're vibing too well. Mm-hmm. And it was making me nervous. And over time, I, just, I don't believe in men and women having friendships. What? I don't really, I don't really rock with that. I feel like it's a prelude to sex. No, no. I've never had a real woman, a, a real woman as my friend that I either didn't have sex with prior or have sex with later. I don't have female. I don't believe in men and women being friends like that. It's what? sexual tension. No. So mm-mm. you have sexual t- tension with every female friend that you have? They're not my friends. So you don't have friends, you're saying? Not females, no. No, I Cause can't. I'm, because if they, cause I only like being around pretty women. So if they're going to be my friend, they're going to be in my circumference, and shit is going to go, shit is going to pop off. Guaranteed. Not everybody's like you, though. Yes, it is. Yes, they no, are. But you if they can do what I do, that. If, they, if they can do what I do, Yes, they are like me. Unless they think they can't get no vagina, then they'll cop out and they'll be like, I want to be your friend. When I walked up to women, I'll be like, I don't want to be your friend. Okay, but that's you. You can't We're not being friends. You can't Why do you want a male friend now? I, I'm just curious. I have male friends. I model. I'm around attractive men all the time. But just because someone's attractive doesn't mean I want them. No, you don't like them. They're corny. They're just no, attractive, no, no, corny that's ass not models. Tr- no, that's not true. So like, what are they? I just like I just have male friends that I don't have any interest in. Like they tell me about what they do, their escapades. Do you think they have interest in you? Some of them, possibly. Oh, right, most of them, all I, of them. I'm talking on my behalf as a female. Okay. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about females. We can literally. So you leading them on then? See, no, it's see, not leading it's them a on. whole other thing. It, it gotta be because I really enjoy talking to you. Likewise. Thank you for having me. I really had a great time here. You guys are all amazing. Like, well, tell them how they can reach you, how they can find you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you can find me on Instagram. My Instagram is Melanin Dojo, M-E-L-A-N-I-N-D-O-J-O, Melanin Dojo. And yeah, but when we're a collab and definitely come back out here, I paint, I do art, I model, I act, I do it all. Yeah. Well, please continue to follow us, subscribe, yes. like, comment, super chat, tap in, follow the gram, eight at the table, follow the YouTube. Everything's the same. It's all in unison. We're, we're dealing with the taboo topics that most people don't talk about and they're scared to talk about. So please tap in with us, follow us because it's only getting greater later. And we out.